The Spectra Visc is a benchtop temperature bath viscometer optimized for the analysis of used and new lubricants. It is an ideal system for anyone looking to test a wide range of lubricant viscosities. The entire system has been designed for ease of use, speed, and low maintenance. It does not require an external PC, operates completely independently, and can be installed in less than an hour. The thermostatic bath can operate from 20 to 100 degrees Celsius. The bath comes with a control column, circular heater, and an integrated cooling spiral in case additional cooling is required. The bath contains four patented viscometer tubes together with optical sensors to detect the flow of oil through the tubes. Each tube functions independently which allows for a high sample throughput. The central control panel, located on the right, consists of a clear LCD screen which provides continual information to the user. And below it, a matrix of brightly colored LEDs which give visual feedback about the system status. The thermostat, which carefully controls the temperature in the thermostatic bath down to 0.01 degrees Celsius, is a very reliable and easy to use instrument. Equipped with a very clear LCD screen, all parameters are easily accessible. Changing the temperature set point can be done quickly by using the up and down arrows on the thermostat. The pumping speed of the thermostat can also be changed. At lower temperatures, a higher pumping speed is required to ensure good heat dissipation. At higher temperatures, the pumping speed can be lowered. Press the program button twice and change the pumping speed as shown here. The clear LCD screen plus keypad give the user access to a very intuitive control menu. From the main menu, tubes can be easily configured for standard viscosity mode or calibration mode. By pressing F4 from the main menu, the user is presented with a status overview of all tubes indicating their current activity. Choosing F3 from the main menu gives access to other parameters. After pressing F1, tube constants from the parameter menu, the user can manually enter the tube constant for each tube. During the calibration procedure, the system automatically calculates and stores the tube's constant based on the measurement results. But here you can manually enter the tube's constant. For instance, in case you've replaced a tube. Press Enter to confirm the entry or press Escape to discard it. Pressing F3 from the Parameters menu allows you to specify the minimum time you wish to allow for a measurement. For instance, if you only wish to validate measurements which are longer than 100 seconds, enter 100 and press Enter. Any measurement under 100 seconds will result in an invalid measurement and will not be taken into account when calculating the average results. Pressing F4 from the parameter menu allows you to set a maximum time for each measurement. Press Enter to set this time or escape to leave the setting unchanged. Choosing F5 from the parameter menu brings you to the system's clock menu where you can enter the time and date which will be included on each measurement printout. Choosing F2 from the parameter menu brings up the cleaning menu. As with all settings, each tube can be separately configured, allowing maximum flexibility and customization. First, the initial draining period needs to be set. During this period, the pump evacuates the tube, but no solvent is injected. Next, the injection time needs to be set. This is the duration which the solvent valve is opened, allowing solvent to be injected. Changing this value, you can control the volume of solvent that is injected each cleaning. Now you must specify the number of injections you wish to be performed. The last parameter of the cleaning menu is the interval between the solvent injections. This is to allow the pump sufficient time to drain the solvent from the tube. Finally, the drying time can be set. This is the amount of time air is pumped through the tube and no solvent is injected drying the tube and making it ready for the next measurement. The matrix of colored LEDs on the control panel gives continual visual feedback to the user so that even from a distance the status of all measuring tubes can be seen quickly. When the OK light is lit the tube is ready to accept a sample. When a sample has been injected the busy LED will illuminate as soon as the sample has passed the first optical sensor. If an error occurs during a measurement, the invalid LED will light up. 
Possible causes for an error can be the detection of an air bubble in the sample, or that the measurement time was shorter than the minimum allowed time, or longer than the maximum allowed time. If no error occurs, the time measurement will stop when the sample passes the second optical sensor. If a printer is attached to the system, the cleaning cycle will automatically begin for that tube. If no printer is attached, the result is displayed on screen, and the drain LED will illuminate to indicate that the tube needs cleaning. Pressing the drain button will start the cleaning cycle for that tube. To interrupt a cleaning cycle already in progress, press the drain button. Pressing it again will resume the cleaning cycle. As demonstrated, the SpectroVisc is a user-friendly instrument. It provides continual information to the user and allows full control over all measurement parameters. To learn more about the SpectroVisc and other Spectro products, visit our website at spectroinc.com.